Not since the beginning of time has the world known terror like this. The creatures of the polluted lagoon. While murky lakes with unknown and mysterious critters have been fueling scary stories for years, it's the threats to this habitat and wildlife that's the true stuff of nightmares. Across the United States, freshwater habitats are under constant threat. Runoff and erosion from agriculture and urban development degrade water quality. Mining activities deposit heavy metals and toxins into nearby waterways, and dams and road crossings isolate wildlife populations. For critters like the eastern hellbender that breathes through its skin, this is particularly horrific. A fully aquatic species, hellbenders have inhabited the rivers of the eastern U.S. for the last 65 million years, and are indicators of healthy streams. But without direct intervention, they could be headed for extinction. And they aren't alone. A single freshwater mussel can filter 20 gallons of water per day. But they are also facing massive declines because these species can't tolerate changes in water quality resulting from pollution, sediment, and even remnants of pharmaceutical drugs that end up in wastewater. Even one of the most well-known swamp creatures, the American alligator, is not immune to the threat of pollution degrading freshwater ecosystems. Along with threats like illegal killings and vehicle collisions, these prehistoric predators also require a healthy habitat to thrive. So, while the 1954 film Creature from the Black Lagoon cautioned against swamp critters, in reality, we should all be fearing for them. All freshwater creatures from the smallest mussel to the largest gator need our help. You can learn more about the real scary movies at Defenders.org.